Hi, I'm Jessica and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm making a beaded bracelet which spells out my name in Morse code. To figure out how to spell my name in Morse code, I looked it up online and found an explanation with instructions for each letter. To begin making my bracelet, I measured out how much cord I would need. I'm using stretchy cord because I want to be able to put the bracelet on over my hand and so I don't have to tie it around my wrist each time. For the measurement, I went around my wrist twice to make sure I had enough cord to work with. I then cut the cord with my new scissors that I bought after I damaged the last ones. The next step is to tie a knot at one end of the cord so that the beads don't fall off while I'm adding them. The packaging of the cord I bought shows you how to tie a knot in the cord, which is very helpful. The next step is to start adding the beads. I'm using green beads for the Morse code letters and white beads for the spacers. Both of my colors are in bead size eight. I'm starting the beading with a white spacer before I go into my colored letters. As the Morse code instructions say, the space between letters is three units, so I'm using three white beads to start. I'm next moving on to the first letter of my name, J, which is one dot followed by three dashes, or one unit followed by three groups of three units, each group separated by one unit of white spacer. After I've added all of the beads plus another white three unit spacer, I have my first letter, J. I'm then going to continue to add the beads, spelling out the rest of my name in Morse code. One E, two S's, an I, a C, and one A. Oh no, it's too short. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, that makes me so sad. Okay, well, well we're going to fix it. We'll fix it. After adding one last three unit spacer to the end of my name, I have my completed name. However, my name isn't long enough to wrap fully around my lit wrist. So I have to untie my original knot in order to add more beads to both sides of my name to make an even pattern. I thought about gluing this knot down first, but now I'm really glad that I didn't. <laughs> so I added more white beads to both sides uh, for a total of 12 white beads on each side of my name. And then I have my completed beading, spelling out my name, Jessica. I then added knots at each end of the line of beads, beads to secure the beads onto the cord. I then add jewelry glue to each knot to secure the knots. While I let the glue dry on my bracelet, I'm going to make a second bracelet spelling out my mom's name, Kathleen, this time using blue. I'm using the same methods with this bracelet that I used with mine, except I'm adding more white beads at the beginning to make sure the bracelet is long enough. I then use the blue beads to spell out my mom's name, knotting both ends of the cord and gluing them in place.
Once the glue has had time to dry on my bracelet, I tie the two ends together to form the bracelet. I then glue the final knot to secure it in place. While I let that dry, I knot and glue my second bracelet. The final step is to cut the excess cord from the end of my knot. And then I have my final bracelet with my name spelled out in Morse code. And it's stretchy. And now to try it on. And of course, I put it on backwards. So let's take that off and put it on correctly. I then repeat the final steps for the second bracelet, cutting the string and trying it on. And because I didn't learn my lesson from a first bracelet, I try this one on backward too. <laughs> and then I'm done. I have two bracelets spelling out mine and my mom's name in Morse code. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to see some bloopers, click the video to the right. And I'll see you next time.